Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm doing some drop links. Uh, these are the upgraded ones from the Civic. So we're going to go from this to this. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to have a look at the actual existing drop link. Now as you can see, that is all perished and nasty and crusty and horrible. So what we're going to do is use the 12mm on the top just here and on the bottom. We use a pair of grips to hold it in the middle and take those nuts off. Um, we have jacked the vehicle up uh, and it's on axle stands on both sides. There you go. Just to take the tension off the anti roll bar that it's attached to. Uh, and then what we're going to do is use the 13s uh, on the new one, uh, the 12s on the old one, uh, and grips and probably a clamp just to hold. The wishbone and the anti-roll bar together just to give us a little bit more working space so yeah let's take the old one off first and see how we get on with that Okay, so we've got the old one off. As you can see, it's lovely and crusty and was well overdue. Now then, if we have a look at the length difference, we can see that the Civic ones are, well, a little bit longer. So what we're gonna have to do is measure against those. The gap that is the difference, I'm gonna take half off the top, half off the bottom. That should make that equal then. Okay? And then we're gonna get that into that gap. Now then, because that drive shaft is there, that's gonna foul. And this this side, from previous experience on a different car, is a massive pain in the arse. And so what I'm going to do, just to make life easier, pop the bottom ball joint. It sounds like a lot of effort, and it is, but it makes that bit so much easier. So we'll pop that bottom ball joint there, get that sorted, pop the, the uh, drop link in there, put the bottom ball joint back in. Job should be a good one. So let's give that a go. Okay, so as you can see, we've used the jack to pop the ball joint back in. Um, that wasn't really the main focus of the video, so yeah, whatever. Um, as you can see now though, we have got the drop link in. And what we've done with that is, when you saw it with the G-clamp, we used the G-clamp to press the, um, the anti-roll bar into the wishbone. So that gives us enough thread there, and enough thread under there to get the nylock nuts on, the not too squashed where is it they're, uh, they're not too squashed and everything looks good happy with that uh, so there's uh, a spanner um, mount in the middle that you can hold it and stop it from spinning while you're doing the top and the bottom so that looks pretty good to me happy with that so that was done um, the same procedure for the passenger side but the driver's side is the pain in the ass one so that's what it looked like all lovely and crispy and ready to fail an MOT uh, and now we're all good um, it 
isn't a bad job to do just make sure you've got the right tools to do it um but you know what to do then remember to like share comment subscribe all that sort of good stuff uh share the love to all the sponsors down below uh, so we've got tsa we've got form 7 and we've got x8 r so go show them some love and remember to use the discount codes that you can see on the screen as well uh, remember to follow me down here on Instagram just to see what I'm up to. Uh, pictures of this will have made its way to Instagram by now. Uh, and remember to ring that bell. I'll see you in the next video.